Hi, wise guys in session. This is method three to find the least common denominator. Least common denominator is the smallest whole number divided by each denominator. Method three, first step, divided denominators by common factors. The second step, multiply common factor and the quotients. To find least common denominator for 1 over 8 and 1 over 12. So followed by the row, divided denominators by common factors. So we can check, before divided, we can check 8 and 12. They both are even number. So divided 8 and 12 with this way by common factors. The common factor first is 2, obviously. So 8 divided 2 equals 4. 12 divided 2 equals 6. So after dividing, you can see 4 and 6. They still have common factor with 2. So keep dividing by 2. You got 2 and 3. And then you can see 2 and 3, they don't have common factor anymore. So second step, multiply common factors. The common factors for 8 and 12 are these two. And the quotients. Quotient, this one is a quotient. This is a quotient, right? So multiply common factors and quotient. It means multiply 2 and 2. These two are common factors of 8 and 12. And also you need to multiply quotients, which is these two and 3. So equals 2, 2, 2, and 8 multiplied 3, which is 24. So the LCD, or we can say least common denominator for 1 eighth and 1 twelfth equals 24. And then you can change 1 over 8, 1 over 12 with common denominator. So 1 over 8, 2, burden, denominator 24, you multiply 3. You multiply 3 to the top, you got the 3 over 24. And the 1 over 12 equals 24 as common denominator, 12 to 24 multiply 2. So multiply 2 to the top. So 1 over 12 equals 2 over 24. Okay. Another example I would like to show you is find the least common denominator for 2 thirds, 5 6, 3 eighths, and 4 ninths. So first we need to find the common factor with 3, 6, 8, and 9. So we write 3, 6, and 8, 9 in a box here. And to find the common factors, 3, 6, and 8, and 9, actually they don't have common factor for all of them. If, they, if you cannot find a common factor for all the denominators, then you need to find the common den the denominator for three of them. This is four. For four, all, all four of them, no common factor. Then we can check if there is common factor for three of them. Three, six, and nine. They have common factor with three. So we also can do this way. Divide the three. 
3 divided 3 equal to 1. 6 divided 3 equal to 2. Because 8 is not divided by 3. That's why in this situation we carry 8, still keep 8 for the next step. And 9 divided 3 equals 3. And then we can check if any common factor with sum of numbers, like 2, 8, the common factor is 2, because we cannot find any common factor for any 3. So we just uh, looking for a common factor for 2 of them. So 2, 1 is not divided by 2, so you carry on 1. 2 divided 2 equals 1. 8 divided 2 equals 4. And 3 is not divided by 2, so that's why I keep right. Okay. Then 1, 1, 4, 3. No more common factor for any 2. So these 2, as common factors for some of them, but this 1, 1, 4, 3 are quotients. So the LCD is equals to 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 times 4 times 3. So equals 6. This one is 12. 72. So the common denominator for 3, 6, 8, 9 is 72. Then we can, step 2, we can convert each fraction to an equivalent fraction with common denominator 72. Okay? 5 over, we leave space here. We first write this way. And with 72, and this one is 3 over 8, 72, and 4 over 9, with denominator 72, then we can check 3 to 72. Sometimes it's difficult to do division, maybe, to matter math, but you can, using this one, information to find because 3 multiply which number equals 72 because 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 and multiply 1 multiply 4 multiply 3 all this one multiply together equals 72 you just pick up a 3 cover 3 because already 3 you can see that the rest of them multiply together 2 multiply 4 8 8 multiply 3 is 24 so 3 need to multiply 24 equals 72, right? 3 multiply 24 equals 72. That's why the top number also need to multiply 24, which is 48. And the 6 multiply which number equals 72? You can, these two multiply equals 6. Cover these two. So the rest of the number is 12. So 12 multiply 6 equals 72. So also you need to multiply 5 by 12, which is 60. And 8 multiply which number equals 72? Obviously 8 multiply 9. So also you can find 8, you cover these two, 2 and 4 is 8. So you have 9, two number left, right? So 9 multiply 3 is 27. And 9 multiply 8 equals 72. 9 is these 3, these 3. So you have 2 and 4 is 8. Multiply 4 is 32. So 48 over 72, 27 over 72, 60 over 72, 32 over 72. We already find the common denominator to create equivalent fraction. Next example, I would like to show you, you can try different way. You can try using method 1, method 2, method 3 to compare to see which method is easy for you or which method is easy depend on different questions. So 
find the least common denominator for two thirds, four fifths, one sixth. If we use the method one, remember method one is to choose the biggest number, six. Multiply by one, cos six. To check is divisible, no, it's not divided by five. So we keep going, six multiplied by two equals 12, 12 and divided by 3 and 6, but still not working with 5. So keep trying. Multiply 3 equals 18, still not divided by 5. 6 multiply 4 equals 24, not working yet. So 6 multiply 5 equals 30. See, this one is divisible by 3 by 5 by 6. So this is the LC. Okay. And the method 2, use method 2 to find the LCD. We first multiply all the denominators. We multiply 3, 5, and a 6. We got 5 multiplied 6, 33 is 90. Then divided the common factors. Because we don't have common factor for 3 of them, but we have common factor with 3 and 6. The common factor with 3 and 6 is 3. So 90 divided 3 equals 30. This is the common denominator. Okay. Method 3, we first divided 3, 5, 6 by its common factors. And also, we don't have a number as common factor with 3, 5, and a 6. So we can to find a number which is divisible by two of them. So three and a six with common factor three. Three divided three equal one. Five, not divisible, carry. This one is two. So then one, five, two, no common factor with any two of them. So that's why this is a common factor with 3 and 6, this is all the Cauchy. So the LCD equals to 3 times 1 times 5 times 2 equals 30. Right? After you find the common, least common denominator, then you can convert each fraction to equivalent fraction. So this is the same whatever you use method 1, 2, or uh, 3. So 2 thirds becomes 2. 20 over 30. 4 over 5 becomes 2. 24 over 30 because you multiply 6 top and the bottom. 1 over 6, 5 over 30 because you multiply 5 for top and the bottom. This is represented by wise guys.